Ice Tucks here, and we are at Florida Supercon Miami. We're gonna check out the booths. Okay, when you first walk in here, you can see there's lots of product uh, promos and stuff. This is Nesquik, um, actually had a stand, and they had a Jenga game going where if you actually um, play this for a while, you can actually win a little stuffed rabbit. And this actually had me a little mesmerized. You know, what a great cost effective way of promoting your product. Um, lots of people were playing this game, trying to get this free stuffed rabbit. And um, it was actually pretty funny to watch because I mean, this thing was really teetering at times. And I really thought it was going to fall, so I, just, I couldn't keep my eyes off that. I was see uh, what was going to happen with it. And um, just there's, in past years, like Sony's been here with the PlayStation, um, different computer companies have been here. And there's usually some kind of like free prize going along with playing like the little game, if you will. You know, so it's totally worth it, and everyone likes free stuff for sure. So, of course, people want to go ahead and play the little game. And it usually doesn't take real long to go ahead and win a prize. So, kind of cool. Doesn't cost anything. A lot of fun. But you'll see here sooner or later, as much as they keep going up, oh, there it goes down. Yeah, just sooner or later it's going to fall, you know. So once you get past that, you'll find there's some cosplay stuff going on. Uh, this was funny, this little girl kept getting hit. That um, little Doctor Who robot thing kept spinning around and smacking her in the face. There's a little child in the other costume, the robot as well. You can see it kind of spins around here. And, uh, I didn't get it on camera, but it keeps spinning around here and looking at her, and it keeps hitting her in the face, which I thought was pretty hilarious. I don't know if that was intentional to try to be cute or what, but it was, it was pretty funny. And lots of cosplayers as you're walking around, you can see people dressed up as different things, different things from Star Wars, different things from anime, like just all around the place, a lot of cool costumes. There is costume contest too, and you can see this place where you can get your photo taken, and uh, they can like send you a professional photo, which is nice. And I'm um, just walking through, more booths. Here's where like the celebrities are, and this is really expensive, it's like 60 bucks to get autographs by some of these people. And you can see they get mad here if you take a photo, watch these people who are employees, I guess, they're like, oh, don't, don't, don't take a photo, oh. you know. Uh, they sell their own merchandise too, um, so you can do that. There's random Thor looking at the uh, t-shirts and stuff. <laughs> kind of funny just to see people like walking around. The whole Avengers were there, like different people in Avenger costumes, just pretty, pretty popular this year as a whole. And we get into the booths here, you can see there's all sorts of great merchandise to buy. I mean, there's everything, you know, Hello Kitty, there's weird little Disney things, lots of fun stuff, Monster High. I mean, cool stuff to buy for pretty much any taste. Uh, it does have a lot of classic stuff, like, uh, like kind of high prices. You see, there's some Star Wars stuff. Star Wars was kind of popular this year. I guess they had uh, a couple of Star Wars actors at the convention, and then Star Wars is, of course, coming out. So there was a lot of Star Wars toys and stuff. And you can pick up things you had, you know, from your childhood or whatever, or just things you always wanted and never bought or whatever. And um, it can be kind of expensive. Cool little Yoda there, and T-shirts, and just lots and lots of fun stuff to pick up. Um, I'm not really into Star Wars, so I didn't buy any of this stuff right now. Um, but there's lots of stuff for pretty much any kind of like sci-fi or anime taste. You'll find something. I mean, here's some more stuff. Here's Power Rangers. Um, oftentimes, Power Rangers come to these events to sign autographs and do little shows or whatever. And so that's fun, and um, then more Star Wars, My Little Pony, just a great sampling. You can see prices aren't too bad, like, you know, 10 bucks. Sometimes the prices are kind of jacked up on this stuff. Um, sometimes they're pretty pretty fair. It just depends on the demand of the product, I guess. And so sometimes it's smarter to wait. Video games here, lots of used video games, like under 10 bucks. And these were pretty good deals. I didn't buy any video games at the convention itself um, because I didn't want to carry around too much stuff. But there was some pretty good deals here. I mean, going back to original Xbox games, and there's like Wii games and all sorts of things. I don't have an original Xbox right now, so that's one thing which um, I didn't buy. Uh, PSP, uh, Dreamcast, um, just you know, pretty much every system you could think of. There's some kind of games for it, and lots of good video game stuff. And all those were under ten bucks. So that was that was a pretty good deal actually. I probably should have stocked up and got a few games, but in retrospect, oftentimes with these things, I think, oh, I'm not going to buy it, or I, I think I'll come back and buy it, and I don't. This video game hardware here, you can see little Pokemon characters um, up here, like you get around this guy, blah blah. You spend a lot of time looking at your feet to make sure you're not stepping on people. There's PlayStation games, um, N64 games, uh, lots of systems like Dreamcast and Sega, and lots of stuff you can buy. There was a lot of people buying systems at the at the convention. They must be making some deals. And going over the some more things here, more Super NES. And these prices are a little bit higher on the ones which are box, but these are probably the more popular games. So they wanted to keep them locked up so no one uh, no one steals them, you know. And then there's some more Star Wars figures and lots of lots of cool little collectibles and things you can buy. 
and getting more into the anime stuff, the stuff I'm into. Um, there's like little cute things here. There's some Pokemon pins, some stickers. Sometimes people will like make things, and I've actually known people who go to these conventions to like make things and sell them. I think Cookie Company's done it before, and a few other people um, who actually I subscribe to and I, I talk to a lot. So um, you can actually make money by you know crafting things and bringing them to these conventions, which is a pretty cool little way of making some money. I'm not sure how the booths cost though. Um, there's something else here. There's like homemade like little metal dinosaurs and motorcycles and stuff. This is one of the more unique booths. I, I really haven't seen this kind of thing sold before. And going into the anime stuff, lots of anime posters and lots of things, collectibles you can hold on to and uh, cherish for life. You like little figurines and statues and stuff. There's Azumi Yao. I don't really collect posters at all. I don't have room for that kind of thing, but that was really cute. And then um, more little like necklaces and charms and stuff like that. I mean, lots of cool stuff you can buy, um, and people were definitely buying. You could sell, see they're walking around with all sorts of merchandise in hand. And sometimes these guys, you can haggle a little bit too, so if there's something which is a little bit high, sometimes you can haggle them down a little bit. It's not like you want to haggle every vendor, but sometimes certain booths are more inclined to like making deals or not, especially if they like need the money, you know? Here's some more handcrafted things, so these cool little like video game, uh, I guess, Plants vs. Zombies, and Mario, like little weird flowers and things. And little pins, those, those are a cute Pokemon. You got chest pin, and um, just lots of fun stuff. Here's a guy from Adult Swim, the uh, what is this? And, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, uh, the Shake guy, and um, he was hanging out. And some people are like much better than others. And this is like the area where these guys are like out there talking to their fans. They're a lot more friendly um, compared to those like sixty-dollar expensive celebrities that they just want your money, you know. And um, moving on along, lots of more anime stuff, lots of plushies, things you can collect, lots of like cool little anime figures and statues and blind boxes. Now these blind boxes, I was so tempted to buy these, but they were so expensive, I kind of didn't. I didn't really buy a whole lot of stuff in the convention itself. I got some Pokemon stuff and some other stuff. They're sitting, that's really cool. And um, just lots of cool little anime figures you can buy. Here's some more anime blind boxes. This is the type of thing that I so wish Target would stock. Man, I would buy these by the case. Um, but I didn't buy any here. I kind of regret, but they seem like they were kind of pricey, like overpriced a little bit for the convention. And I think I could probably buy these, these type of things on eBay. But it gives you ideas of things you can buy or find online. Now here's some really nice figures. There's some cool Sword Art Line figures. Um, different ones, different animes. Lots of cool stuff to buy. Those were really nice. In fact, I was tempted to buy one of those, but I just didn't make it back to the booth. Uh, lots of cool things you can wear, like little um, little pajamas and little hats and different animal things you can get. Little animal ears, masks of all kinds. Lots of fun stuff you can wear, and a lot of people are actually wearing these around in the convention. More blind boxes, persona stuff. Really cool, hard to find stuff. Hey, look, Kaon, one of my favorite animes. Uh, lots of cool things. I think those were bootlegs, actually, looking at the stands. And here's some cosplay. Here's a cool little robot. I, I really like the costume. It was really generic and cheap, but fun. Uh, for Splatoon lovers, here's some people dressed uh, as Splatoon. Kind of a cheap and fun costume. Pretty cool. And um, there's going to be a lot of other cosplay stuff you can probably see on a Visigoth channel, too, coming up down the road. More action figures. Lots of things. And these are kind of like clearance, older figures. Sometimes these tables are a lot of fun because you can find some old collectible you wanted. There's Matrix figures for $10 each, super cheap, you know, brand new. So if you're into something and you never bought it, the odds are you can probably find it at one of these conventions. And that about does it, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching, and we'll get to talk to you soon, okay? Okay.